Now, if you have a Craftsman snowblower or like model, here's how to perform a cold start. And a cold start means the engine hasn't ran. First step, make sure that your fuel tank is full of gas. Next step, make sure that your key is in its slot and that it snaps into place. From here, we're gonna slide our throttle lever over to a low to medium setting. Next up, we're gonna take our choke dial and turn it all the way to the choke logo. Next, here's your primer bulb, and in most cases, it's three primes. And in my experience, you wanna make each prime count covering the little vent hole when pushing, meaning you wanna push it in and let it fully release. That's one, now two, and three. This way you let the primer do its job and you don't wanna slam it rapidly. From here, we're gonna pull on the rope gently until we feel some tension, and then we're gonna give it a good firm pull. From here, we're gonna take our choke and we're gonna turn it back one click at a time. One, two, three. Another click. One, two, three. And we're good. From here, move your throttle up. And just like that, she's ready to go. And by the way, hey guys and gals, welcome to Garage Gear, I'm JB. And to help this video get going with the YouTube algorithm, would you mind hitting that like button? Thank you very much. Okay, so now let's say you just ran the machine, you had to shut it off, and now you need to restart it. So let's say it's only been a couple minutes or so, you're gonna take your throttle lever and slide it back to a low to medium setting. Make sure that your key is fully in place, leave your choke in the run position. From here, pull the recoil until you feel some tension, and give it a good firm pull. From here, slide your throttle lever all the way up. And just like that, you're up and running again. But what if you do these steps for the restart and she doesn't run? Well, there's two things you can do. Perhaps your engine cooled off just a little bit too much since it last ran. And in that case, just go back to the beginning and use the cold start procedures. Or you could try this. According to the manual, put it on half choke, prime it once, pull it to start, and then ease the choke off. Either way, should get it going again for you. Now let's say you want to start your snowblower up with your electric start. From here, you're going to want to find a power cord that'll fit your model. You're going to plug one end in to your outlet. The other end is gonna go right into your electric start. From here, we're gonna copycat the same procedures from the cold start. Make sure that your gas tank is filled up. Make sure that your key is inserted and fully clicked in. Set your throttle to a low to medium setting. Take your choke dial and turn it all the way to the choke logo. And you're gonna prime it three times. That's one, two, and three. From here, you're gonna push your start button and do not hold it for more than five seconds at a time. She's up and running. Take your cord off, take your choke, turn it one click. That's one, two, three. Another click, one, two, three. And you're good. Now take your throttle and push it all the way up. And now she's up and running using the electric start. Now some out there may say, well I only use the electric start. Well it's a good idea to use both the electric start and the recoil start, so that way you can ensure that both are working throughout the season. Now here's some helpful hints for safe and easier startups. First off, if you have an MTD, Cub Cadet, Yard Machines, Yard Man, Troy Built, or any other similar style snowblower with this kind of engine, the procedures here will pretty much be the same. When in doubt, consult your owner's manual for startup instructions specific to your model. If you have an older Craftsman with a slightly different kind of engine on it, the procedures here will also generally be the same. Always start your snowblower up in a well-ventilated area. Not in a garage at least open the door up. Make sure there's nothing around or in front of your snowblower that could cause harm or damage. Don't overprime your carburetor. Three to four primes is all you're gonna need. Overpriming can flood your engine and make it difficult to start. If you do manage to flood your engine, wait about 20 minutes, go back inside, have a quick bite to eat, or grab your shovel and shovel a walkway or two, and then come back and try to restart it. And at that point, use the cold start instructions. If available, be sure to use ethanol-free fuel inside your gas tank. In my experience, when I use ethanol-free fuel, my snowblower starts up much easier. And if if you have a fuel shutoff valve somewhere on your engine, make sure that the valve is open so that way the fuel can flow. But what if your snowblower won't start at all? Nine times out of 10, it's either a carburetor issue or a fuel related issue. Usually this is caused by leaving gas inside the engine for an extended period of time, like over the summer. And gas tends to break down after just a few short months. Gas that's six months or older, I simply don't trust it. It can gum up your carburetor and make your machine difficult to start. Not to worry, I have a few carburetor cleaning videos linked down below in the description to help you out. Now this snowblower may be pretty basic, should be shoveling, got that right, but a basic snowblower like this can be a driveway dominator. I'll have that video linked down below in the description as well. For more cool garage gear content, click or tap the screen right here. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the garage.